How's it going family, friends, viewers, and subscribers? A response video to a post called Dear Fat People. Created by a YouTuber named Nicole Arbor. Before I get into it, I would like to let my young viewers and subscribers, my young family and friends, that it does become offensive. This video will be. And it will be edgy for the most part so I recommend that you either watch it with a parent or some kind of guardian or not watch it at all so yesterday I was given the opportunity to watch a video of a woman ranting on fat people and when I say fat people I mean ranting on fat people she didn't hide it. She didn't uh, sugarcoat it. She was very offensive, very brutal, and very misled. Um, in my opinion, like a fellow YouTuber says or calls ignorant people, um, she calls them toxic. And Toxicity is the understatement within this female. She is, well, I'll let you be the judge of it. Check this video out. Got my Kesha hair today. You don't know if this is hairspray or semen. Dear fat people. Ah, some people are already really mad at this video. What are you gonna do, fat people? What are you gonna do? Wait, what are you gonna chase me? Really, you gonna chase me? It's gonna be like fucking Frankenstein. I can get away from you by walking at a reasonable pace. Frankenstein, not so fast. Zombies have apparently gotten faster. I watched like three episodes of The Walking Dead and not being slow myself in the brain, realized that every single episode is exactly the same. Oh no, they need something, but it's all the way over there. Where the zombies are? Fat shaming is not a thing. Fat people made that up. That's the race card with no race. Yeah, but I couldn't fit into a store. That's discrimination. Uh, no, that means you're too fat and you should stop eating. Everybody just needs to make more sense. There's a race card, there's a disability card, there's even a gay card because gay people are discriminated against, wrongfully so. The gay card's covered in glitter. It's fucking magical. Are you gonna tell the doctor that they're being mean and fat shaming you when they say you have fucking heart disease? More sense. I'm not talking about people who have a little bit of cushion for the pushing. And if there's people watching this with a specific health condition, this is not aimed at you. I'm talking about the 35% of North Americans who are obese. That means you are so fat, you are affecting your own health. Big boned isn't a thing. How stupid do I look? Don't answer that. There are no fucking skeletons that look like the Michelin Man. Fat shaming. Who came up with that? That's fucking brilliant. Yes, shame people who have bad habits until they fucking stop. Fat shaming. If we offend you so much that you lose weight, lose, lose weight, I'm okay with that. You are killing yourself. Yeah. I'll sleep at night. Maybe I'm a little jealous that you get to eat whatever you want. Obesity is a disease? Yeah, so is being a shopaholic. But I don't get a fucking parking pass. It would make a lot of sense if I did. I'm the one with all the bags. Fat people parking spots should be at the back of the mall parking lot. Walk to the doors and burn some calories. Why are we helping them? Wanna die quicker? Come this way. It's assisted suicide. <laughs> Isn't it ironic that it's taking a blonde girl to explain shit? It's irony, right? I don't feel bad for you because you are taking your body for granted. If it were like a pack of Smarties, and you're like, you know what? Fuck this Smarty. You Smarty, fuck you. I'm gonna fucking mash you up. I'm gonna make you not good. I'm gonna throw you on the ground. That's okay, because you got a bunch of other Smarties. You got one body, one. It has to take you all the way to the end. You get that? Good. Fuck you, Smarty. Oh my god, the hashtags. Body positive. If you want to be positive to your body, work out and eat well. That's being positive to your body. You really think if enough of you hashtag something bad for you, it makes it okay? Hashtag meth love. Hashtag team smokers. Everybody use the hashtag, it'll unplug our arteries. They forgot to tell you that plus size stands for plus heart disease, plus knee problems, plus diabetes, plus your family and friends crying that they lost you too soon because you needed to have a Coke plus fries. Yeah. Plus size, plus size. I was at the airport not too long ago, and I had to wait in one of those lines that's like, <laughs> as I get to the front of the line, 
A family comes to the front and gets to bud me. Fattest, most obese, I'm talking TLC special fat. You're a meth shamer. They got to go to the front of the line because they were complaining that their knees hurt too much to stand in it. Oh, I just came an hour early like I was supposed to. But you overeat, let me help you. And they complain, and they smell like sausages, and I don't even think they ate sausages. That's just their aroma. They were so fat that they're that standing sweat fat. Crisco was coming out of their pores like a fucking Play-Doh fun factory. <laughs> So I wait an extra 10, 15, 20 minutes. Now I'm not gonna have time to get Starbucks. I'm a white girl. This is an issue. <sighs> and I totally got felt up by security because I'm always selected. Brown people, it's me and you on that. I'm a blonde who can speak in full sentences and has no interest in a sugar daddy. I am a minority. You already searched my ass, sir. Oh. So now I'm running to my plane. Just as I stop to wipe my sweat, who do I see in a fucking golf cart? Fat family! Uh, so what? You got to bud me and ride in a golf cart and I'm sweating like a pig. But if I play an ugly girl in a movie, I get a fucking Oscar! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a formula to it, guys. <laughs> now I get on the plane, I find my lovely seat. I'm sitting in the aisle. And then a stewardess walks up to me. Hi ma'am, I hate to ask, but we've got a disabled passenger. Would you mind switching seats? And of course, cause I'm not an asshole. I'm like, oh my God, of course, yes. Oh look, it's Fat Family. And Jabba the Sun sits right beside me. <laughs> I just lost my shit. His fat was on my lap. It was actually on my lap. I took the handle, I squished it down, and I said, my seat, your seat. I actually took his fat and I pushed it into his seat and I held it. He was fine. He was just fat. Watching the movie. Mm. No. 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 Make, make better choices. Yes. Genetics plays a part in things to a degree, of course. Big sassy black women in church dresses are my favorite thing in the world. But I'm really fucking selfish and I want to keep you around. I have no idea the correlation between high notes and calorie intake, but I'm not going to question it. <laughs> and I'm not saying all this to be an asshole. I'm saying this because your friends should be saying it to you. Think of me as one of your ride or dies. If you're dating a douchebag and you come to me all like, my boyfriend's being a douchebag. That's because you're dating a douchebag. But what do I do? Get rid of the douche. <laughs> True fact, they used to use vinegar as douches. My lady bitch just reacted like a turtle's head being touched. The truth is, I will actually love you no matter what, but I really, really hope this bomb of truth exploding into your face will act as shrapnel that seeps into your soul, makes you want to be healthier so that we can enjoy you as human beings longer on this planet. <laughs> Fuck you, Smarty. Hashtag Team Smokers. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name is Nicole Arbor. Hey! Doesn't that just irritate you? It was her basic opinion and her understanding. But like I said earlier, it's misled. When she mentioned the fact of for those that are suffering with medical differences, not in those terms, but relatively that's what she was saying. She said not to pay attention to it an eating disorder or some deficiency within the body or whether it's hereditary whatever the case may be it's not something that we ask to be sometimes uh, addiction is food related so I mean an addiction is an addiction I can't make excuses for me I love food and I'm large because I love food is my my fat sure why not do I care about her opinion? No, not at all. She's not... To me, it seems that she's more of fake and transparent than anything else. It just seems that this individual tries to be someone that she's not. <laughs> Fat shaming is not real. Okay. Gay is not real. Homosexuality not real racism not real come on you know I'm, 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 I'm slowly starting to get angry at the fact that one person who's searching for views trying to build more of a subscri uh, subscriber base had the nerve to p post a video in regards to other people she stood in, it seems to me like she stood in the damn corner of her room, or house, or whatever, dimmed the lighting, and went, on, went to town on basing her opinion. Which is fine, freedom of speech is good. 
to make yourself feel better by degrading other people seriously that doesn't make you any attractive that doesn't make you any informative that doesn't make you even worth watching the fact is is that I'm a large guy and I know a lot of large guys and girls uh, my family is not small but they don't suffer from too many disabling diseases that cause them to be large now my brother he is suffering um, but it's something else that's causing him to be immobilized so he can't necessarily go out and be exercising like he used to he can't be walking around like he used to and he's working on it he's but that's a medical problem that caused him to be that large and he's a lot smaller than me I feel but he's like he keeps telling me that he's bigger than me and you know in certain cultures I mean not the stereotype but if you imagine I've met a lot of Russians that are huge. I've let them, I met a lot of uh, French people that are tiny. I've a lot of friends that I have are of Mexican or Spanish descent, and they're built or they're short. You know, and then, like I said, it's, it's all stere stereotypical stuff, but. I'm talking about personal opinion. I've seen them. I've met them. I have friends with uh, different attributes. That makes them my friends because they're different. They have different attributes, or they're different, or because they care about me enough to not give a shit about my opinion. Of, and you know, I don't want to say too much. That's because I mean it, I'm getting really upset with people that decide that they want to be so high and mighty and think that they're just on the top of the food chain due to the fact that some people have medical problems or even if it's not medical problems it's a personal personal issue what gives you the right what gives you the right to sit there and be opinionated about somebody else is it because of what they look like once you talk to them, worry about talking to them first and find out what's inside before you go judging the outside. In fact, you shouldn't be judging people at all. God, who judges? Not you. You're trying to help people? Help people by shutting your fucking mouth. Because you have no room to talk no bases looking like peewee fucking Herman with a pink slip in, his, in her head come on and you know that was wrong of me to do but man I can't it, I've always lived by you can't fix stupid and I thought at one point that I had enough duct tape in the world to, to fix it but what you did was pretty ignorant what she did was just absolutely asinine you know, that's that's like saying that old people should just hurry up and die because they're not taking care of themselves. They can't. People with Alzheimer's, they forget everything. That means they, they're no good to society. Is that what you're saying? That's stupid. Why would you say that? Why would anybody say that? Why would anybody say Alzheimer's, people are forgetting they need to die so that we can have bigger uh, space in the world that, that that's ignorance that's sheer ignorance and then about the kid that you were sitting next to on the plane holy cow seriously if you're trying to help then say excuse me sir if you don't mind would you like me to move so that I can give you both seats and be generous enough like that why don't you just why don't you do something like that? That's helpful. Don't criticize someone about their size. 
Don't criticize someone about their physical issues. Don't criticize anybody about anything. If you ain't got the damn backbone to do it to their face, you have to do it on video. I wish you were standing in here. So I tell you to say the exact same thing to your face. You're ignorant. You're transparent. You're irrelevant. You may have a good heart somewhere, but I haven't seen it in most of your videos. You're just despiteful. You're evil. And a fellow YouTuber named Ellie, hopefully I'm saying your name right, she pinned a nail right on the head. You are toxic. Your insides are toxic. You're black inside. Cold-hearted. Emo motionless. Emotionless. You have no heart. You're trying to get views. You're trying to get noticed. I've heard, uh, man. Now, YouTube, another YouTuber that I watch, he suffers with being large. He suffers with being a big man. But he's been suffering with that for over 41 years. He is, I mean, he is an icon for a lot of us big people. Because he suffered through it. And look at him, 41 years later, he's still doing it. He's still working through it. He's still trying to conquer the quest. He's still trying to be the person that he said he was going to be a long time ago. Boogie, he's a large guy. But I see him as a, just a guy. He constantly considers himself overweight and obese and always talking about the fact that he needs to lose weight and this and that and the other. So... Boogie is a large man, and he constantly talks to his subscribers and viewers about having to lose weight, how much he's suffering, what problems he's going through, the dilemmas that he has to suffer with. But if you look clear into his eyes past his glasses, beneath his earphones, or, yeah, you'll notice that he's unhappy because he's trying so hard to be something that he was never brought up to be. He chose his life. He chose his path. And he chose it because it made him happy. If it didn't make him happy, he would have chose it a long time ago or chose a different route a long time ago. But the fact of the matter is, he was happy at one point. Then medical problems got him even worse. And so he became unhappy. I'm fat. I'm fluffy. I'm, I mean, I'm, you know, but I don't care. People love me the way that I am, and if I die tomorrow, well, I lived a good life, and they all know it. I love them to death, and I'll do everything I can for them. But if it means me being unhappy, well... then I can't do that. I won't do it. If I'm going to be what somebody else wants me to be, then where am I? Who am I? I drive truck. I weld. I'm an artist. I'm a painter. That all makes me happy. Yeah, maybe if I lose weight and take better care of myself, then... Oh, wait a minute. No, because that's not true. If I was to take better of myself, I'd still be doing the same thing here. Oh, welding, driving truck, being an artist, being a painter, being a welder, whatever. Just what? Have a physical physique that people will enjoy better because they don't want to stand next to me? No. No. For all you fluffy people out there, don't change unless you want to do it for yourself. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks. This is, this video is just regurgitating. And like I said, Ellie pinned it right on the head. Toxic. Toxic. So if you stayed through this video this long, would you do me a favor and comment down below? Subscribe for more content. Follow me on Facebook. 
uh, keep up on YouTube because that's where I spend most of my time. There should be a video coming up pretty soon in regards to my son in his first scrimmage. It's not as interesting as some people would hope, but it's my son, so I want to share it with you guys. So thank you very much for stopping by and watching my video, and uh, to those mentioned that are admired by me, like Boogie, of you guys keep doing what you're doing. You guys are doing a fabulous job. Boogie, don't worry about being large, man, because I'm with you. And it's for <laughs> Nicole Arbor. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. I never knew what transparency meant until I met you or seen your video. Later, guys.